Hi, this is Simon. I've got something that might just make your day better. In this video, I'll walk you through a strategy I've been developing for years. You'll learn how this system can help you grasp the basics of trading and start building your financial skill set. I'm a professional trader with nine years of experience. I've worked at some of the world's largest financial firms, traded market analysis for major platforms, and taken part in televised discussions about economic trends. Today, I'll be sharing my strategy, one that works well for beginners, and I'll show you how it applies in real time. I'll walk you through a few key steps that can help you get started with trading. Watch this video till the end, you'll pick up insights that can help you begin your trading journey from scratch. If you're ready, let's get started. Before we continue, I want to share something especially for those who are open to learning and eager to dive deeper. I'm inviting you to my trading community. It's a space where I share my experience, host daily live sessions, explain my every move and break down the market in real time. We focus on real education from simple first steps to gradually building a deeper understanding of the market. Everything is designed to help you watch, ask questions, and apply what you learn at your own pace. No complex theory, just clear practical methods that help you understand core principles. Many have already joined us and are sharing their progress. Some are just starting out. Others are well on their way, everyone follows their own path. Now you have the chance to join too. Click the link in the pinned comment to learn more. It's free, it's open, we are just getting started. Ready? Let's keep going. Let's get started. The platform is open and I'm ready to work calmly and step by step. Today I'll begin with four assets. And first I'm adding two indicators that help me analyze the market. RSI shows whether the price is closer to the upper or lower end of the range, while MACD helps determine the overall trend direction. These tools help to make informed decisions. Everything said, I'm focused and using my proven approach. Let's begin calmly and observe the market movement carefully. Looking at the chart now, I see the price has reached a level where it previously stalled and then dropped slightly. That means the growth has stopped and the market is moving sideways with no clear upward or downward trend. When the market behaves this way, the perfect strategy is to watch the boundaries of the range where the price tends to reverse from the top or bottom. Right now the price has approached the upper boundary again and I expect it to go down as it did before. I'm going down. The indicator also suggests the market hasn't chosen a direction yet, confirming that we're in a period of low volatility. I based my decision on the chart behavior and the market responded as expected at this stage. A good example of using price structure in practice. Now I'm going down. Why? The chart shows that the price has been climbing for a long time, steadily moving higher and higher, but now the indicators are suggesting that this upward momentum is slowing down. It's like a car going uphill and starting to lose speed. Usually when such signals appear, the price may pull back or even reverse. That's why I'm going down to take advantage of that moment. The situation developed quickly and I made the decision based on analysis. These are the moments that help you understand how the market works. Going down again, let me explain why. There is a level on the chart the price has tested multiple times but failed to break through, like a ceiling it keeps hitting. This time the price reached that level again and bounced off. Indicators also show weakening bullish momentum. This might be the start of a reversal or at least a small drop. So I'm going down and watch how things unfold. The indicators pointed the way and price action confirmed it. A good milestone to reinforce the skill. I'm going up now. Why? The chart shows the price is moving within a defined range, like a corridor, but here's what stands out. Each time the price gets close to the lower edge, it gets picked up and pushed back up. It never quite reached the bottom. This could be a sign that buyers are preparing for an upward breakout. I also see the price is gradually pressing against the top of the range, which could lead to a breakout. So after a small pause and pullback, I'm going up and watching how it goes. Everything's unfolding as expected. Let's keep going and monitor the changes on the chart. 
You've just seen what a first step in trading looks like, and you probably realized this is not about luck or guesswork. It's a system, just like learning to play an instrument. At first, you play by the book, then by ear, and eventually with confidence. A lot of people think trading is like chasing the horizon, but it all becomes much clearer when you have a map. And in my community, you'll get access to that map. We trade together live. I explain, walk you through the market, and break things down step by step. This is real-time learning, no theory for the sake of theory, only practical, hands-on steps. You won't be left staring at a screen alone. I go live regularly to walk participants through key moments. Support, simplicity, and structure. Those are the three pillars of how we learn. You don't need to know everything. All you need is curiosity to begin and commitment to continue. Just like a house is built brick by brick here, understanding comes first, then confidence, and finally, independence. If you want to keep going, make the decision mindfully, click the link in the pinned comment, and join the trading community. You'll find more than theory. You'll find a live process where everything you learn can be applied directly. Joined already? Let's keep trading. I'm going up because the price is staying within a tight range and not dropping lower, which suggests market participants are willing to support it at this level. Right now, the price is at the bottom of this range and I'm going up. The entry was well-timed. The market moved in the direction I had anticipated for the setup continuing with the plan. I'm going up. The price had been stuck at one level for a while, almost like it was building momentum, and now it started to move up. One of the indicators shows a reversal and the other has bounced off the lower limit. That's a potential signal that the upward move is just beginning. I identified the direction based on price behavior. So far, everything aligns with the current trend logic. Now I'm going down. The price has reached this level but couldn't break higher. The chart shows a pattern that often signals a stall in upward movements. It looks like sellers are defending this level actively, so I'm going down. Price action confirmed my assumption. This scenario played out within the expectations I had based on analysis. Going down here, the price pushed above a previous level, but the indicators didn't confirm it. That could be a signal the trend is weakening. A familiar reversal pattern formed on the chart, followed by a downward candle. That confirmed the signal, so I decided to go down. The market moved just as the setup suggested. Now it's important to stay calm and stick to the steps of the strategy. Going down again, I see the price broke through an important level and shot up, but then started drifting back down slowly. That's what we call a correction. The indicators also show signs of slowing. MACD has turned downward and RSI left the overbought zone, which often happens when the price is overheated. Now the price is returning to a previous area of accumulation, a zone where the market paused and built volume before the breakout. Price often returns to these areas to test them. There's still room before we get there, so I'm going down now, expecting the price to continue down to that target. This result wraps up today's trading session. This session showed just how important it is to take your time and carefully analyze price and indicators. This kind of approach helps reduce randomness and makes trading more deliberate. If you stay consistent and don't give in to emotions, you'll steadily grow your trading skills. You've just seen how you can rethink your financial approach with real examples and practical steps. Now it's decision time. You can stick with the familiar, the same job, the same routine, still searching for that better future that never quite arrives, or you can take a step toward change, a step into a space where people are already choosing growth, freedom, and progress. I've built a community where I share my experience every day and help people make sense of the market without confusing terms or complicated theory. What do you get by joining? Live sessions where I walk you through my decisions making in real time. Simple, clear market breakdowns. You'll see how things work from the inside. Support from like-minded people who are already seeing results. The choice is yours? Click the link in the pinned comment and join right now. While you're still thinking, someone else is already moving forward. Let's get started.